हेल्थ और टेस्ट की लड़ाई में अब आप रहिए दो कदम आगे विद फिलिप्स एयर फ्रायर इसकी ट्विन टर्बो स्टार टेक्नोलॉजी कुक्स विद अप टू नाइन्टी परसेंट लेस फैट देर इज ऑलवेज अ वे टू मेक लाइफ बेटर इनोवेशन एंड यू फिलिप्स Good afternoon. Again, we are back this Sunday morning, and uh, you know we've had an amazing four days at World in a Plate uh, goes live. Never even imagined that World in a Plate uh, would be on an online uh, platform one day, and uh, uh, yeah, this pandemic has uh, made us reinvent everything, you know. <laughs> and today we are here uh, at this lovely place. Uh, we just had a beautiful distribution with the. Uh, the world hunger warriors uh, their truck uh, the soup kitchen which all of you have been contributing thank you for contributing keep contributing because uh, it's feeding some really really important people today pebble bay called us to feed their staff who has been working uh, you know through the pandemic helping them uh, and we thank pebble bay for calling you uh, calling us and it was lovely feeding them and uh, uh their donations are are something uh the people there and the donations uh, we really respect that uh we would love to keep coming back and doing more saturday was such a nice uh, you know day uh, uh we finished off it was it was literally the sweet saturday and uh, we had three excellent uh, pastry bakery master classes ended off with uh, the butter chicken man uh, my friend saranj goela uh he did an amazing uh, uh sindhi uh, mutton and uh, so you know beyond that since it was see, it was sweet saturday and i think there's an extension of sweet saturday to sweet sunday because we are at this beautiful place with uh, vimal thank you for having us smoor uh, one of bangalore's uh, you know uh, premium chocolate destination uh, very close to my house dog friendly most importantly uh, my three little doggies love this place and uh, the hot chocolate is to die for so vimal uh, what is uh, what has been the vision of smoor and how have you come out with such a world class product right in the heart of bangalore thanks kiran <laughs> i think uh, first of all uh, wanted to congratulate you uh, i think this is your fifth year of world on plate and uh, we have been i think uh, associated with you from the inception absolutely and uh, when two great brands come together yeah. it is uh, it, it, you know it's it bound to have a great quality uh, uh, product now so you know i want to congratulate you on that and, and then so uh, secondly you know with this pandemic yeah how you have been able to transform an offline uh, you know a show into an <laughs> online 
and more so the most important thing I must yeah. say is you know working for the betterment and uh, you know and then helping the course. I think uh, this this is going to be one of the most challenging years for for the hotel hospitality yeah. industry and for you to take the lead and uh, you know start uh, a, a program with the hunger warriors. I think it's a credit to you. And uh, well done, you know. Uh, as far as the school is concerned, I, I think uh, I've known you for a you know few years now. Yeah. Uh, I think the journey for us always has been about uh, creating an experience around chocolates, and uh, we were very passionate. Uh, you know, the entire team of school, you know, is 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 based around a lot of uh, you know a lot of people have come together in terms of chefs, in terms of our production guys, in terms of R&D guys with the one vision, you know, chocolate is a very sweet and, uh, and it's, a, it's an emotional product so for us, uh, you know, we wanted to create that emotion, the experience uh, with a product that was of very high quality and at the same time it was, uh, you know, uh, value, uh, you know, by uh, in terms of price, in terms of uh, in terms of complementing, uh, you know, in, in certain uh, categories, in terms of in the dessert, in terms of snacking, in terms of you know gifting. So you know, it's uh, I, yeah. I always say it's one of the most sexiest product, which is <laughs> chocolate. And then if you and then combining it with the nice experience and associating also, and being part of uh, things that are with a similar. Uh, I guess, uh, uh, yes, similar bandwidth, you'd say, or you know, they have a similar mindset. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it is, a, it creates that compliment. So I'm, I'm privileged and honored to, uh, that uh, uh, for, for being part of this uh, World on Play. And, uh, you know, as, as, as I'm sure you want it <laughs> and I want it, uh, we want yeah. to see this uh, pandemic uh, over very soon. We will, we but will. Uh, yeah. during these tough times, uh, I yeah. think uh, you know if we all have to stick together, support each other, and then and, and and make this year count as uh, one of the most memorable years. We will, and uh, and uh, take it forward. So I Lovely. wish you all the best so and, and and all the success. Thank you for having us. And just before we go go away from this beautiful conversation, Vimal, you're from which part of the world? Because you're. I mean, of course, I know you as Vimal, but uh, I meet you for the first time today. But uh, your accent is very unique. Where are you from? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> you know the first one. Uh, look, uh, uh, you know, first, uh, I, I guess, uh, nearly 30 or 40 percent of my life, yeah. uh, I was born and brought up uh, and, and raised in a country called Fiji Island, which is a very tiny island. Yeah. and uh, it has a population of less than about a million people so you know my, my, my childhood to my you know early years of uh, you know uh, university uh, before the university I you know I spent the time in uh, Fiji okay. and then okay. so I spent uh, uh, a lot of that Fijian Fiji. yeah. is your uh, accent so yeah it's, Lovely uh, it's one of them and then you, yeah. Yeah. So, so beautiful so. just before we go my favorite chef, one of my best buddies, you know, he's uh, heart of gold uh, and uh, someone who I was looking forward to, you know, always I, you know, when I have him on any master class in any part of the world on a plate, I look forward to what he comes out with. Uh, Vicky Ratnani, the first, I, I would say the first celebrity chef uh, to braise uh, India, uh, you know, he's cooked for the who's who. Uh, one of my favorite guys, like I said, is going to cook up a storm for you guys. I hope you bought your DIY kits. Uh, every DIY kit contributes to the, the Hunger Warrior wagon. So uh, if you haven't bought it, there are lots of DIY kits for Ranveer, Rod for Calibri, many more coming on, on this Sunday. So make sure you guys have a great uh, Sunday. Start cooking, you know, uh, feed your friends and uh, Make sure you go back and contribute to your bit. Thank you, Vimal, again, and uh, lovely for the beautiful chat. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, welcome to my home. This is Chef Vicky.
Yeh Ratnani and today I'm going to be cooking up an amazing porridge which I call the urban porridge. Now porridge and our culture goes <clears throat> long way back. Okay, we talk about Dalia, we talk about uh, different kinds of rice porridges which are happening in different parts of the country, in fact all around the world. So I thought why don't I make a really nice porridge but do it my way using mixed millets, chickpeas, puvar dal, basically everything what we find in our house. And now to amp up the nutrition, I've got lots of vegetables which I want to add. Vegetables add our complex carbohydrates will add, will add a lot of flavor and texture to this dish as well. So use any seasonal vegetables which is available in your city. I'm right here with you at Nani cooking from my house in Mumbai. So I've really got some really cool vegetables here. So I'm, I'm using some red amaranth, I'm using broccoli, I'm using this thing called cantola which is called the spiny gourd. It's uh, a very interesting vegetable, uh, uh, it has a short uh, season in India, so around the monsoon summer you find a lot of these and this, let me show you what it is, it's, it looks like a, it's a gourd but it's not as bitter but it's slightly bitter but it makes a great stir fry, it makes great chips, lal mat, red amaranth as you know, vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, very beneficial for you and looks really sexy okay I also have some uh, I had a mushroom mushrooms are uh, good protein animal protein to you sorry mushrooms are plant proteins and I had a king oyster mushrooms but feel free to use button mushrooms shiitake mushrooms or other if you don't have any mushrooms no big deal guys I also have a nice bell pepper, I've got zucchini, I've got a broccoli but I'm going to peel these stems and I'm going to be actually using the stem so broccoli stem is also very tasty and of course I have some mataro, I have some fresh peas make advantage of this summer spring season and bring fresh mutter into your house I mean don't worry about the frozen one, you can use it later so I'm using some fresh peas so basically it is actually mixed millets Tovar dal, uh, brown moong um, and mixed millet. So you've got mixed millets, you've got tovar dal, you've got brown moong or moth beans and you've got chickpeas, okay. So you've got four or five different beautiful grains and now I, when I'm cooking grains or, or any kind of lentils, I always like to pre-soak them because I like to be a little organized. So these actually have been soaking overnight over here and uh, uh, so you could pressure cook them though your thin CT it, it does the job but since I've soaked them uh, quite a long time about seven to eight hours and I've got enough liquid in them so I am actually going to just uh, cook them in, uh, in a heavy bottom pan in a heavy bottom pan or a pot as we say and uh, cook, it, cook it nicely so while this is cooking I'm going to be doing my veg prep and then once the veg is done we're going to steam the veg we're going to do a little base of onions, tomatoes and this really special spice I have which I'll talk about and uh, the urban porridge is ready I think you will really love this recipe because you know by the time you eat it the, the flavor, the nutty flavor of the millets is just amazing and it's almost like eating a really cool, a wet, lovely risotto or a, or a khichdi or a khichda. Anyway, it's really good to be on this platform with WAP. Um, Kiran is doing a great job and now since we've got all our chefs coming together, I don't think anyone is going to be going hungry. So, but make sure that you buy the DIY kits. Make sure you actually contribute some. There is a link in all our posts where you can actually put a humble a contribution, which will make a big, which will make a big difference. Anyway, let's start cooking.
So about 25 minutes later, uh, the perfectly cooked millets are nice and soft. Uh, dal is just perfectly cooked. Chickpeas are just amazing. And I think I'm going to switch this off now because I want some liquid. Okay, I want some nice moisture from the beans and lentils. And, um, and then we start sorting our vegetables and putting it all together. Perfect. So there is a fair amount of veg preparation in this, which is good because there are basically just three parts to this whole dish. One is your soaking and cooking the, the millets and the dals, which we are almost done. Okay, while these were cooking, uh, I did something else and I came back. So we've got these uh, red amaranth or lal chauli as we call them in Maharashtra. But red amaranth, uh, really good for you. So you have to take these really fat stems out, like thick ones like this. And the leaves should be nice and crispy. They should not be bruised when you buy them. And I think they are great flavor. Very high in vitamin C and E, okay? And uh, really good for lowering your blood pressure, maintains your cholesterol levels, and the rest which goes with it. So I've got my red amaranth prepped. Now broccoli, I had these little florets. Uh, I'm just gonna put these out. Now once again, guys, I'm telling you uh, that the vegetables are actually up to you, okay? You want to put meat in it? Amazing, no problem. So I am actually using local seasonal vegetables. So as I said, this is called the spiny god, okay, or cantola, <clears throat> as the gujos call them. Very quickly, like you make any other bhaji. So it's got, it's a little bitter, but not as bitter as the karela. Both from the same family, okay. And it's it's nice. It goes in. It makes really good chips as well. You can slice them really thin, and you can fry them. You can cook them in the air fryer. So I've got these lovely bits of uh, kentola or <clears throat> spiny gourd, okay. Now broccoli stems. What do we do? What do we normally do? So normally, what we do with broccoli stems? is we actually throw them away which is not cool guys okay it's not cool at all so i literally there's some bad fluorides which i won't use so you have the the broccoli stem so i this is the only part which is too hard okay i throw that away and then this broccoli stem, I actually peel it, okay? I peel the broccoli stem. So you get rid of the outside woody, hardy parts, okay? So it's like when you trim an asparagus, exactly. And now you're left with this lovely uh, broccoli stem and which I will just slice very it through, okay? And it's great for a stir fry. Mm. You have the crunch? Brilliant. And it's got a very nice broccoli flavor, of course. So it's like almost like a zero waste. And when you look at the yield for broccoli and cauliflower, the yield is almost like 40% is because we, we throw the stem away. <clears throat> now literally this was like almost like a 90% um, 90% of yield. And especially when you are cooking in larger numbers or cooking it, you are actually saving a lot of waste. And you know here with WOAP, we are actually here to feed people. We want you to contribute. You know, Kiran is doing a great job as I mentioned earlier. I love his team. And these DY kits, these recipes, guys, I mean, it's they're going to help you. And, you know, this is genuinely a very, very good recipe, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, so I've got my spring onions, which I'm just slicing up like this, okay? At the end of the day, it's all gonna be nice, a, a good mouthfeel, okay? You don't have to really finely chop them, because we are gonna be cooking these nicely. So I've got my spring onions done. And, uh, 
I'm going to explain on the done. Let's use some peas now. Feel free to use frozen peas, guys. I mean, but I'm just saying that um, peas are available now. You know, it's a very spring summer kind of uh, vegetable which we must take advantage of, and the flavor of fresh green green peas is is another scene altogether. Okay, so let's just. Let me get this. One. So I have flavorings like ginger, garlic, and uh, chili, which I have a paste ready. Okay, um, we it is always a go-to thing in our kitchen that we always have a couple of onions peeled inside the fridge. I always peel. Uh, I do a ginger, garlic, chili for like two or three uh, meals, which because sometimes when I'm not cooking, my wife is cooking. And especially with the lockdown, uh, we've been doing a lot of fabulous cooking at home, and um, so it's it's all about dividing work. Uh, I love going to the local market. I mean, I haven't been traveling much, obviously not. But uh, the whole idea is that to have to know your neighborhood really well. Okay. Now I'm sorry, I you must be doing that already, but guys, I have spent like 200 days. 250 days out of one year on the trot, you know, traveling. So for me, it's like uh, coming back to my own hood, if you know what I mean. Okay. So, so as I was mentioning, or why am I repeating that all the time? Um, even pumpkin, dudi, turai. Now these are uh, other veggies which we got yesterday. Which are also cool, but we're going to use these all the time. Now I want to just show you that with different vegetables, the look of the dish is different, the nutrition value is different, taste profile makes a big difference as well. So, so quickly do this piece. Next, I'm going to be doing this king oyster mushroom, which I had uh, one in my fridge from my yesterday's meal, my yesterday's class. Uh, button mushrooms are good. You don't like mushrooms? Don't put mushrooms. No big deal, guys. The idea is to eat fresh, eat healthy, and stay sexy like me. Okay. So the veg is done. So I hope the guys who are cooking along with me are actually at the same speed. Are you guys or not? But don't worry. These videos are going to be up for a while, so you can refer to these recipes. All the time, so I have a a green chili here, which I will, yeah, put this here. Now I have got this left. I have some more peas here. I mean, if these were younger and soft, I would have cut these into julienne and used these pea pods as well. But they're thoda budde ho gaye, you know. They are a bit too hard. Otherwise, I would love to use these as snow peas. So when these are very young, what we do is we actually string them just like this. Okay, we just string them just like this, and we literally cut these into very fine strips. Okay, so you can use them, but they are a bit too hard for me, so I'm I'm not going to be using these. But look, got a nice fresh green piece here. I also have a steamer here. Uh, I'm going to very lightly steam these vegetables before I actually um, before I actually put them in my in my stew. Uh, we've got a veg prep. Now I I was talking about a steamer. Okay. Now I have a steamer here. Okay. To which let me just move it here. So I have a steamer here. Now we are going to be steaming some of these vegetables. Okay. And we're gonna add it in there. In the meanwhile, when the water gets the water is heating up, let me just quickly do these mushrooms. Lovely. Now, I, you know, if you remove the skin from the tomatoes, okay, they taste much better, much better. So what I do here, the good old school way, is you take the eye of the tomato, and then you do like a cross. Okay, so the, I'm preparing these two 
uh, I want to take the skin off the tomatoes and I take the skin off the tomatoes and I'm going to blend them here okay puree them so you get a nice fresh tomato puree without any skins these tomatoes nowadays don't hardly have any seeds so I just blend the seeds as well it's okay I don't really take the seeds out no big deal about that um, so so I'm just going to put these here so they start steaming I just peel it out and put some cold water ready here for my, my blanched vegetables so we have a I'm going to do a whole green bell pepper okay in this now most of the vegetables which I'm using are are very low in carbohydrates and sugars so things like red amaranth zucchini have the least uh, carbs okay so they are very favorable for even keto diets okay. uh, green bell peppers yes but not red bell peppers uh, tomatoes in moderation so zucchini i'm only going to be using half a zucchini okay so so take the pith out I don't like the pit. And then we just cut these into dices, slices, feel free guys. So zucchini done. I have my ginger garlic paste ready. Tomatoes will be coming in. Now the spice which I'm using for this dish is pretty interesting, okay? So I have, I make this spice and I keep this in advance. Uh, it's fabulous. It's got like Devdi chilies, which come from Karnataka. And I've got um, some sof, some coriander seeds and garam masala. So we roast coriander seeds, say like one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of sof, four or five Devdi chilies. Uh, and a little bit of one pinch of garam masala, one teaspoon of garam masala powder, and then we get this lovely, beautiful spice. So, which is a, a spice which I have all the time. And if you want to go down the curry leaf fruit with egg or mustard seeds, you can. But I'm taking. A, I want to keep this very simple so that it's it's not too many complications in this recipe. Okay. So, dice the peppers. Just like the zucchini. Lovely. So veg prep done. Perfecto. Chilies here, onions will go in first, mushrooms will go second. Perfect, guys. We all have it happening. Still not to be done yet. Lovely. So, I'm going to move this out of here. So we have our perfect. So switch the steamer off and uh, I have some cold water. Yeah. To shock our tomatoes, so we just put our tomatoes in here. Beautiful. So the skin comes out very easily. You just peel it and you puree it here. And I'm putting this here, and then I'm going to put my broccoli in here. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the broccoli, the cantola, the broccoli stems, 
very quickly, just a, a quick buzz, okay? Uh, this I'm going to saute green peas. I'm also going to steam. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to quickly, quickly steam them very quickly. Give it a little open. Let the magic begin. Just a couple of minutes and we shall uh, get going with the cooking guys, not to worry. Let me just clear my table. Not too much of a fantastic. So we've just given it a, a quick blanch. Okay. Now you can see they're looking gorgeous vegetables. Okay. Just rightly cooked. I don't want to cook them too much. I'm going to put it in the same bowl here. So we shocking our vegetables in this. Let's take our steamer away. Perfect. Clean as you go, guys. Okay. Perfect. Let's start cooking. Beautiful. I think this lunch is going to be a really kick ass if I may use the word lunch. So let me remove these tomatoes. Tomatoes are ready. Okay. Yes. So I'm using a, a light olive oil to use this. So the oil is nice and hot. Yeah. You're going to start off with some nice jeera. And we're going to start off with some nice boria, boria chilies in here. And we're going to start off with a little bit of cinnamon and green chili. Okay, so this is like a, a tempering kind of happening here. Okay, it's good. This is like amazing. Okay. So we are uh, giving it the cumin a nice toast, cinnamon is also coming alive. So all these spices really come alive when you actually uh, heat them up. Then we're going to add our chopped spring onions in here, okay, along with our mushrooms, zucchini, peppers, okay. So zucchini and peppers, I like to saute them 
along with the mushrooms and onions. The simple reason is that these vegetables taste better when they are sauteed. Okay. So I'm going to give this a nice mix. Fantastic. switch this off for a second and I have my tomatoes here so I've got my tomatoes here okay which the skin look how easily it comes out okay so the idea is to take the eye out of the tomato and make like a crisscross so it's easy to get out of the way, very easy. Same thing here, you put in ice water and... So you literally have your own tomato pelati as they call it in Italy. And you know when you're making a sauce for a pasta or even you're making a pizza sauce, blanching and removing the skin of the tomato helps a lot. Okay, there's a big difference in... There's a big difference in the... In the color of the sauce, in the texture of the sauce, um, yes. So this has come out very easily. Okay, and then simply inside here. Great. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be actually just adding a little bit of water. Pour us up on not too much. I'm giving this a nice blend. And then we add some of those in this. My fantastic spice of Jagdi chilies, salt, coriander, black pepper, garam masala. Okay, so a good about two tablespoons in here. No, sorry, one tablespoon. One tablespoon. Let me just give this a beautiful mix. Okay. Now, what we need to do now is slowly simmer this. Okay, for about 15, 20 minutes till the tomatoes and the spices are cooked. I'm going to be adding a little bit of water. And later on we can finish this with some nice 
fresh coriander, some basil. I also have this, these leaves which are going inside here now. Okay. So you can see it's almost like it is a porridge actually, but you know the millets are so good for you. Very high in fiber, very high in folic acid. They maintain your blood pressure, reduce your cholesterol. And once you eat millets, you know that feeling which, uh, that satiated feeling, that feeling of satisfaction without being, without being bloated is what, I, what I'm talking about. And that's the reason why I suggest this lovely, and you like my name, it's called the Urban Porridge, okay? So, uh, we are going to do some coriander later. I'm gonna add my steamed vegetables which are here. My vegetables are also here, nicely chilled out in water. So I'm going to just see, drain them out, okay? And once the tomatoes are, are cooked, I'm saying about 10 to 12 minutes, I'm going to be adding um, these beautiful veggies in here. So I have saved some of the water just a wee bit. Okay. Fantastic. So you can see this is coming together really well. Okay, I'm going to check the seasoning. Uh, feel, feel, feel free to add any other spices if you wish. And um, So really nice, a uh, lovely healthy mix of seasonal vegetables, mixed millets, tuwar dal, brown masoor or maskhol masoor dal or moth beans along with some chickpeas. Guys it doesn't get better in taste, texture and nutrition wise. So this is lovely, you can get as fancy would you like, you want to add asparagus, add asparagus. You want to add some other funky vegetables. You want to put some chicken in this. It's going to be a winner winner. Uh, what I might do is I might just crack an egg on the top. So it becomes very breakfasty, lunchy, brunchy and um, delicioso. Fantastico. So I'm moving this up here guys, okay, on a slow simmer, uh, it's beautifully done and next I'm going to be adding these steamed vegetables which I had here, uh, seasoning and all is going to happen soon and uh, so this is a very substantial dish guys, okay, it's very substantial, uh, it's very tasty, it's very healthy hardly any oil in this okay so I think we have a winner here guys now as I said if you want to make add some more protein into it you want to add eggs you want to add meat into it feel free so I thought why don't we just bowl this up really nicely present it and then top it up with some nice eggs with some coriander I have some nice sprouts I have some mustard green sprouts which I'm going to be adding on the top to give this really nice cutting edge uh, finish to this, this dish completely.
carefully crack two eggs in this. Okay. Adding a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Lovely. Fantastic. So get this nicely cracking. Okay. I have some uh, sprouts which I'm going to add later. We've got a really nice, lovely pasted egg on the top. Okay, so beautiful. I like my eggs like this. Nicely cooked. Beautiful. Look at it. Lovely. These are perfect fried eggs, guys. That's how you eat fried eggs. Okay, let's get you a nice plating for this. So I've got a nice. These are beautifully done, guys. Look at it. So literally, it's like almost like a uh, a milotto, if I may call it, like a risotto with millets and lentils. So totally up our alley. So let's spoon some of this here. Spread this out a little bit. Delicioso. So we have a good, it's a really healthy, hearty I would say, a hearty meal. That's the word I'm looking at. Beautiful egg, delicious. Nothing beats an egg, guys. And then we have some nice mustard greens here, some sprouts. Okay. So a nice soulful home style uh, beautiful dish for you uh, i also have some sorrel okay some very sorrel leaves which we can add and give a nice khatta to it so these are wood sorrel leaves um, and um, my beautiful dish is ready So absolutely delicious dish. Okay. I've gone a little OTT on these, but I like them because they're growing at a nice tang. You know, sorrel has got this, it's like gongura, right? So that's the dish, guys. The Urban Porridge by Chef Fiki Ratnani for WOAP. Guys, don't forget, contribute, be kind. And let's let nobody go hungry. Thank you. Cheers. Ek kadam aage, fir do kadam piche. Health or taste ki ladai mein ab aap rahe do kadam aage with Philips Air Fryer. Iski twin turbo star technology cooks with up to 90% less fat. There's always a way to make life better. Innovation and you, Philips.
हेल्थ और टेस्ट की लड़ाई में अब आप रहिए दो कदम आगे विद फिलिप्स एयर फ्रायर इसकी ट्विन टर्बो स्टार टेक्नोलॉजी कुक्स विद अप टू नाइन्टी परसेंट लेस फैक्ट दर्ज ऑलवेज अ वे टू मेक लाइफ बेटर इनोवेशन एंड यू फिलिप्स